Follow the Victims of Crime Hotline. Um, what are you doing, Crystal? Oh, pardon me, I just missed that whole thing. <laughs> uh, this is Victims of Crime, yeah? Yeah, it's just called the Victims of Crime Helpline and you're speaking with Dimitri. Oh, Dimitri, sorry mate, I missed that. Um, yeah, um, I've, yeah, I've been a victim of crime. Um, it's quite a complex um, situation. I'm not quite sure if I want to give my identity just yet because it's quite systemic and... Um, very serious and um, I don't know what to do about it. I'm kind of in a trap situation. Okay, I'll ask you questions. Um, but I'm happy to hear what's happened to you. Um, so the crimes have occurred in Victoria? Well, I'm kind of a political prisoner, actually. And um, yes, they, yes, they have happened in Victoria, but um, I've tried to get justice for it, but it's... I've kind of reverse engineered it from from local right up to the prime minister. So um, it's okay. um, it's it, I I know what you're going to say. You're going to say that's out the outside the area of expertise or something like that. But seriously, um, no, no. I, I've just got a few more questions. Yep. So um, and uh, I'm not going to say that. Um, oh, good. So I hear Victoria, that a lot. Victoria, are, you, are you based in Victoria? Yes, I am in Footscray. Um, well, there's been numerous ones. <coughs> um, it, it's it's been a, it's been a whole range of things. It's been there's been a, a, an overdose, a suicide attempt, which are both avoidable. It's been a um, a movement to um, persecute me, um, which has ended up in my suicide, and then I survived that, even though it was deemed a fatal injury. Um, I'm fairly sure I've got a, well, I, mean, I know I've got a brain in, uh, my memory's nowhere near as good as it was, and I am very appreciative of that because I'm a um, doctor of philosophy. And, um, after, and, and about 14 months after um, that suicide attempt occurred from the oppression and malpractice, um, I literally haven't even seen one psychologist. Like the world's dumped me, mate. Um, now I've I've, um, I've lost millions and millions of dollars in detriment. That's from being um, systemically framed, and um, also I was framed as an extortionist, which I, I didn't I didn't know until after I'd come out of hospital, and. Um, 
look, I've had a lot of valid complaints. I haven't been mean or anything. I've, I've frustrated with the system. Look, the, the, the police keep incarcerating me with the CAT team because um, uh, it's victimisation. It's, it's a heinous victimisation. Now, they keep coming to the door and I keep having to run away. I've got nowhere to go. I've got no money. Um, I've lived on... They put me on job seeker after my suicide attempt, which was a bit stupid because I'd been on the DSP before. And um, look, the, the cops have just just walked straight in the front door with the key. They got a key uh, to my house. And then, and then to stop them, I kind of pushed it back and they kicked it in. So now my door's got a big hole in it. Now, who do I call when the police are the ones that kicked in the door? Now, I've recorded some evidence um, over many years because um, I'm rationally paranoid that this is systemic and I've been character assassinated, which is the reason I left my job that I loved. And um, what job was that? I was a registered therapeutic support for the NDIS. Okay. Right. And a, um, a kind of a life coach and arts therapist as well. And, um, How long were you doing that for? Uh, well, I was doing it for uh, about over two years after after my PhD. Okay. When did it end? It ended on twenty second of January, twenty twenty one, and then very fast, okay. some things went south. Now, I want to tell you a few things. First of all. I've been framed in a lot of ways because I'm a public person in the public eye. And sadly for me, I know it sounds like a James Bond novel, my former partner worked for ASIO. Now, that was a toxic relationship in which we were engaged for five years, five years or six years ago. But he's escaped um, by exploiting me in all ways and then... Um, uh, you know, it was um, coercion, sexual and financial coercion, used me up, dumped me with his dying dog and, and left with a million dollars in super. And, and, and I, had, I had nothing. I built myself back up. I forgot about it because he threatened a hitman on me. And um, I moved on. And then I tried to get some traction with it. And this other issue, malpractice issue years ago, and I'm apparently banned from the legal bar. So at the moment, I'm squatting with a big hole in the door. I've got no money. I'm evicted. And um, uh, there's no way of me going forward. And um, look, um, one of the reasons I think I it all went downhill and it's linked to my former partner is I called it out on a website because I know all these crimes he's done. Um, anyway, so, and then shortly after that, um, I got incarcerated. Um, now I explained very reasonably the um, things that were happening to me, but they were uh, appropriating my poverty and how I had a work injury and was really um, um, scapegoated, out of, uh, framed out of my work, that it was illegitimate. And, um, yeah, I, I called it out. Next thing you know, there, there's my poverty, like I was stressed. Yes, I was stressed, but it, it wasn't necessarily the psychosis they called it <laughs> because it was actually real. So when I got released from hospital after the suicide um, that happened in a hospital, which they've dumped me for, and um, I can't get any lawyers. I'm a banned whistleblower. I can't go to police. I can't get a lawyer and I can't be a whistleblower. So I made multi millions of dollars in detriment um, from not only those things, but a million dollars at the Australian Financial, oh, sorry, the Australian Human Rights Centre. Um, um, one to two million dollars at um, Australian Financial Complaints Authority, who, who were one of the agencies who acted in conspiracy to 
reject me of all prosperity. And, and I got stressed over a long time. And yeah, it went south. And now I've got a work cover claim still going at the AAT. I've said to them time and time again, it's against the charter of human rights of people with a disability if I don't have equal access to the law. Now, um, the government, having literally already oppressed me so much, it, it killed me, and then they covered it up. The ombudsman covered it up. That um, they now have a 25-year experienced lawyer in that particular field. And, and I've just got me, and I can hardly think. Oh, you're joking me. It just, it went dead. He goes, I'm guessing legal aid. Yeah, yeah, right. Thanks. Thanks for that. Fuck no. That's victims of crime for you. I'm so paranoid that, um, well, obviously you've got my number, so um, you might know who I am, but, or from the story. Uh, anyway, sorry. I, I, look, I, I, I have, I, pardon me? No, 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 I didn't. I, I just, I just went dead. Um, I had a feeling oh, yeah. that um, you knew who I was and that's why I hung up. Now, victims of crime, anything with a dot .vic, dot .gov .au or a dot .gov .au is systemically opposed to me. There's no doubt about it. So I was worried that you were um, giving me the government mantra, which is delay, deny, defer. I believe... I've, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for being paranoid, but I've lived for years like this, and I haven't. I don't trust anyone. I'm totally isolated in the world. I've got a list of mental illnesses apparently as long as my arm, and I I, I, I can't think anymore. Um, I, I I've lived in I've lived in abject poverty for an entire fifteen months, and I'm over it. I, I need I need some traction with someone somewhere. And an actual lawyer who is unbiased and uh, and who will work pro bono. Otherwise, like today's the day I'm supposed to be evicted from the house. Today? Today. I, I, I've, I've, I'm trying to get my head together to appeal to VCAT to get a... So he can't kick me out. But I've got no choice but to stay here. No, it's a rental? private rental. Private rental, okay. Um, and why they picked you? What happened? Pardon me? Because I haven't been able to pay rent. Like, I, I earn $700 a fortnight on the DSP, and yep. my rent eclipses that. I haven't even had enough to literally exist in a house for a whole year. I've borrowed, I've begged, I've sold everything. I'm owed multi millions of dollars. I can't believe this shit's happening to me. Okay. Um, so I guess from a practical point of view, have you been looking for some, like another place, like a cheaper place, or? Oh, mate, I haven't got a cent. What am I going to do? Like just pick some money off the tree in the backyard to get a removalist van and a month's rent and a month's bond and and a good rental um, referral? It's impossible, mate. I I don't need a new place. I need justice, mate. Well, can I just ask? Can I can I just ask for you a second? He's hung up on me again. He's hung up on me. He's he's quoted the mental illness thing and hung up on me. Hello. Subscribe again. Yeah, it's very suspicious that the phone keeps hanging up, mate. I must say. Area. Yes, I am. Look, to be honest, when when you when your fo when your former ASIO agent partner owes you half a million dollars and he's trying to hide from you, attacking you via proxy through statutory agencies, anything's possible. My phone's bugged. My computer's hacked. 
I know this sounds paranoid, but I, I, I've lost... I, I'm under investigation, mate. Were they based in Melbourne? Who? Uh, the former partner. Are they based in Melbourne or are they elsewhere? Australia? They were in Melbourne. What can you suggest in, in the summary of the... Um, how can victims of crime help me with the obvious conspiracy to the course of justice which has gone on and the unthinkable thing of me being systemically persecuted so much that it was basically conspiracy to manslaughter or, or only manslaughter because I was saved. I mean, I was accidentally found with no pulse. I can't get a, I can't even get a doctor. And, and yesterday, my chemist refused to give me medication. And two days before... Oh, pardon? Why was that? What happened? Um, I just want to say, too, that yes. the Office of the Prime Minister and Cabinet, of me having reverse-framed this thing from humble beginnings, and it getting bigger and bigger, and me realising I've been set up to fail... I asked for my freedom of information from the Officer of Prime Minister and Cabinet. Mm -hmm. And as a public advocate and someone who's spoken in Parliament and all around Australia and on Today shows and all that kind of stuff, there'd be, there'd be a file on me. And because I've emailed a lot of ministers, of course there'd be a file on me. Now, and I've dated an ASIO agent, hello, of course there's a file on me. Now, they said it was too voluminous and they need time. so. Again, delay, deferred, deny. And then came the news that um, I don't exist. They contradicted their former statement of saying there's thousands of matches. And they said there's nothing to see. And, and what was the, um, the FOI? What was that in relation to? Like, was it your dealings with the PNC or was it with something else? You just wanted well I've been reverse engineering this thing up through all the agencies I've applied for the CDD scheme with the finance minister I can't go to federal police I can't go to any police yeah. I'm absolutely character assassinated and framed I've been left in the dark to die and I wanted to know from the office of prime minister what the story was to, to try and I've already got enough evidence to prove this with a prosecution in the federal circuit court. I've already got that. But but how am I supposed to do that when I just get gaslighted? Right. Um, just with regards to your legal issues, um, you look, look, which, 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 which... Which thing are we talking about here? I mean, are we talking about the conspiracy to murder, the 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 theft, the um the drugging, the rape? I mean, it's been a um a cosmic ballet of shitdom that's happened to me, and um I've I've also been savagely beaten up. The cops refused to release the FOI, which would have exonerated me from all wrongdoing. I've literally been murdered, and it covered up, and then dumped, and I'm owed millions and millions of dollars and now the prime minister and cabinet have um said oh, there's nothing to see so i don't know which bit you'd think i'd take a lawyer to but i've tried every lawyer thing for the past 10 years no one will take me on and if they do they exploit me for information for nothing saying set me up seeing if they can help me and then they cancel it, and I think they're agents working for the other side. I've actually been set up for lawyers to go to a, 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 a meeting for a malpractice case. Went there, and they were so rude. I was in there for about a minute and a half and he told me to fuck off get out there's other lawyers out there so he made me go all the way in just to stick the knife right in the front of me now that's happened at other organizations such as APRA 
NHPA PC, IBAC, the police, the federal police, Australian Human Rights Commission, Australian uh, AFCA, they watched me become um, literally a vagrant. I, I begged them for help. I begged them. I said, why can't you come to these determinations yet? You've got four weeks to do it. Mine were two years. It, it led me to, dis to distress and vagrancy and, and, and further, they, they, with great irony, they, I said I would call them out if they um, don't um, follow through. Mm -hmm. And they called me conspiratorial and, and said I was threatening their staff. Whilst they have witnessed me die, literally in a hospital, that I can't get any atonement from. And then further, still delayed and deferred. And now I've called it out. Fuck it. Fuck it. I've called it out. I'm not sure if I'm speaking the same language, but I've just said to you, I can't report to police. I'm banned Sorry. from reporting to police because there's something on my file that says, don't give him a bar, don't give him a word, don't acknowledge anything he says. And if he calls it out, send a welfare check over because um, it will intimidate him and um, it will victimise him for, um, you know, apparently having this um, psychotic illness of delusions of persecution when actually they're a part of it. I can't report to police. I can't report rape, murder, tax fraud, coercion, theft, anything. I can't report anything. Uh, my business was destroyed. My website. I ran my business for I made money from there. It was my ABN. Without warning, and after I'd survived the suicide and they dumped me, two, three days before they unannounced destroyed it and all backups and all evidence and all emails for the last 15 years, oh, my computer was hacked into and my files deleted. And then I get a, a text saying, oh, we won't put up with your conspiratorialness and we're without warning deleting all your files. You're no longer a customer. Goodbye and good luck with the court case. Now I'm like, okay. well, that's... He, he knows it's a court case. He's deleting evidence before a court. That's a crime in itself. And, and, and there's no agency I can complain to. Business.gov.au um, the Small Business and Family Ombudsman, the Telecommunications Industry Ombudsman, the Intellectual Property People. No one. I'm absolutely clusterfucked, framed. I don't know what to do. All right. Um, and so if you can't report to police, have you lodged a complaint with police, the police conduct unit? I think I'm about 100 steps ahead of you here. I'm already a failed whistleblower at IBAC, at ASIC, at APRA and the Commonwealth Ombudsman. Okay, okay. That's, uh, that's a lot of agencies to be labelled as that. I'm quite surprised. Well, it's not surprising when you know your former partner was present at a murder and um, put $1.2 million in a tax haven that he made selling cocaine and got caught, and then his ASIO mates just gave him a slap on the wrist fine. They, they will kill me. That's the point. They will kill me. They won't kill me directly, but they will kill me by a... a I've, I've lost my family, my friends, everything. They're making... For a twice suicide survivor, at least, they are making it so hard for me that I do it myself. I'm sorry. There's no other way to see it. Okay. I mean, um, are you thinking about that now? Absolutely not. I want my justice. 
I've already been rejected by a CDD scheme for compensation from the Finance Minister Birmingham and the police. And I actually think that um, by the tone in your voice, you're like um, kind of quite, oh, have you done this? Have you done that? I'm not having a go, mate, but serious? I've already emailed Dan Andrews and um, about the injustices that have occurred, like my business being ruined, like, like my brain damage that I can't get atonement for, even though I offered them it. And um, other systemic issues that are broader than him. And like Michaelia Cash, the Attorney General, he sent me back to the same hospital where I've died. <laughs> Everyone identifies illness and poverty and um, transposes it, um, uh, sorry, transposes illness for poverty. It's as simple as that. Once you're labelled mad, you can't unlabel yourself as mad. I did a PhD to argue my critical thought processes. And I passed. Okay. Um, well, I guess, to be honest with you, I, I don't know how to help you. I knew you were going to say that. Everyone I call, okay. everyone I call won't cross the floor. And you know what? If I got one single fucking person in the world with a bit of guts and balls to cross the floor and say, help this guy, Rich, I'm going to help him. I'm going to go to the boss, cross the boss. I'm going to help Rich get the justice he needs. And I'm going to save him from vagrancy and likely death and incarceration. And I'm going to help him get the detriment he, he is, is earned. Not one person in the world has done that. I wonder why that is. If Dan Andrews knows of all this, and he's the Premier of Victoria, and the police are in on it, the federal police are in on it, IBAC have rejected me, you're just following up the chain knowing that you're utterly fucking powerless. You could help me if you wanted to. I could give you... I'm worth multi-millions of dollars, mate. I could give you... How much do you get paid an hour? I could give you 500 grand if you quit your job, crossed the floor and fucking helped me. But no, I can't offer anyone enough money. You are... you. Hang on. Let's have a look on your website. You, you said you'd treat me with dignity, respect. What else did it say? It says, um... Get advice? What advice have you given me? Can't help you. Find other services that can help you? Done that. Get information about the court process? No, nope, nothing. Get help applying for compensation and financial assistance. You've just utterly whitewashed me, mate. What are you even doing there? I'm not having a personal attack, it's systemic. No, 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 it's a very personal attack, actually. Um, but that's alright, I'm not, I'm not going to hang up on you. But I guess what I want you to know is, is that I've asked questions, and then you've come back to my questions saying that you're 100 steps ahead of me. I'm trying to understand your case, I'm trying to understand what's going on, but it seems that whatever I say, it's not good enough. Why are people putting me in this position that um, if I stand up for myself, they victim blame me as if I'm a bad guy? In actual fact, I've, I've, I've worked for 25 years in altruism and helping people in a public way out of the utter kindness of my heart to reduce people's suffering. And I've got a Human Rights Award and Book of the Year and all these other things, spoken in Parliament. I'm not a bad person, mate. Now, you're having a go at me now by saying you're not good enough for me, you know. And, and like, I'm some kind of um, monster. Mate, what, I've got a suggestion for you. I've got a, just a kind suggestion for you. Can you please go to the website called killhim.info? Because this was one of my last hurrahs. The victims of crime. Can you just list for me, just out of curiosity, just the crimes I've um, 
narrated to you in the past half an hour? Well, you've mentioned manslaughter. Of me? You've, me you've mentioned the term manslaughter. You've raised the term sexual coercion. And then various sabotage attempts by uh, your partner. But uh, as far as I can hear, though, You've raised concerns with several agencies and uh, things aren't working out. Anyway, um, as I said, I don't think we're the right agency for you. Um, well, you well, it says here on your website, based. mate, that um, it says get information about the court process and get help applying for compensation for financial assistance. Now, if I could narrate to you just back really clearly about what I have said to you, um, I've said I've been financially and sexually coerced. I've been robbed bare of millions of dollars. There's a conspiracy to pervert the course of justice. Um, I've suffered brain damage from a systemic oppression, which was then covered up by the same agents that um, did it. And I've got no atonement from the hospital. It's totally covered up. Do you want me to go on with the things that I um, I um, said to you? Like um, seriously, are you paying attention? Because I, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not having an attack. I'm just going. There, there was more things I said in that half an hour than than what you responded. You know. Yeah, I think what's best. I know you said you have issues reporting matters to police, but I think a lot of your concerns need to be raised with police. And if they don't believe you, then maybe you should go get a lawyer to put those concerns to police on your behalf uh, through legal aid. Um, that's, that's all I can advise at this stage. Can I ask you a personal question just about um, people who work at Victims of Crime Commissioner.vic.gov.au? I just want to know how many cops work there. How many cops work there? Because I can hear you laughing in the background, mate. No, there's no police officers here. Oh, no, 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 but... Come on. Are you in cahoots with the cops? Come on, go tell me. Tell me the tell me the dirt on working at victims of crime. What background do you come from? No, we don't have police officers. No, no, no. I'm saying, but but how are you linked in with services systemically in the government? All right. Well, look, I'm not here to discuss this sort of thing. No, it's just out of curiosity. If you could just indulge me just for a minute, how many people from victims of crime come from a background of um the cops? Are you a cop? No, I'm not. I'm what what would you do formally before this? I'm not here to talk about my personal history. So you're not going to indulge me, just out of curiosity, why you won't help me? Is it because Dan Andrews has sent me back to the very hospital that I died in? Maybe. If, if you wanted to talk to the Victims Commissioner, who is above us, about your concerns as being a victim of a crime... Well, that would be a helpful thing for me to know, don't you think? That's a matter for you. Well, why don't you tell me about it and I'll look it up and then we'll see if they're a .vic.gov.au or a .gov.au. So, and have a chat to the Victims Commissioner about your concerns with victims of crime and What do you mean, maybe? I want fucking a bit of dignity, mate. I want someone to care for me, and I want someone to say, gee, Rich, you've had a really good life and a shit run. You're a human being with sentience, mate, and you deserve a bit of a fucking break. So, yeah. So, I'm going to leave it there, because now you're swearing. Um, but, yeah. Um, yeah we, know it's, we know it's more in, enraging than swearing. A calm... You're a fucking cunt. He hung up. <laughs> Anyway, what's more enraging than fucking swearing is a fucking pen-pushing public fucking wanker fucking sitting there comfortable fucking ex-cop fucking, you know, how's the steak, brother, while I'm starving? And he absolutely knows who I am. This is fucked.